What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie. Today for you, we are doing small space organization, but we're doing it vlog style. I'm gonna show you guys underneath my bathroom sink how I reorganize everything, all my favorite products, and then I'm gonna give you guys a Dollar Tree haul. From that Dollar Tree haul, I'm gonna use the products and we're gonna do a Valentine's Day party. I'm a full-time traveling RVer, mom of four, so these are some of the things that I like to do to keep my kids really festive for the holidays while they homeschool. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys a couple little spiritual things I wanted to talk to you guys about at the end of the video. So if you guys are excited to see the video and you want to see all of the things, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, we're in my bathroom. It is a pigsty, but I wanted to show you guys the before and even the front of the cabinets are dirty. I know. You're like, girl, you're an organizer. Why does it look like this? Well, life happened and this is some place that i did not organize i just threw a couple shelves in here and my kids clean it and they just keep throwing things in and i'm tired of living this way so in a small space you don't have a lot of room but i bought a new system for underneath we're going to pull everything out and my system before i was sharing space like my husband's shaver and stuff is in here and now this is going to be all mine i'm going to switch everybody else's stuff to the cabinet so this doesn't keep happening so this is my area and everybody else's area is behind me in another cabinet that I can show you. But I am going to do like hair stuff and then face and all that. And then I do have something, this little caddy I just bought from Target. I'm going to put all my stuff on there too. I don't know. I might do one of the drawers, like a hair drawer. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out, but we're going to do it together. All right, guys, I have this box here. I'm gonna open this up. It's this little shelf thing so I can organize down here. It's open, it's been sitting, that's why the box looks crazy. I've been meaning to do this project, but I'm a full-time RVer, so living our lives and enjoying our time is more important. So I'm finally getting to this. Alrighty, you guys, I just got done wiping down the front of this. So now it is all nice and clean. And then I put this liner down. I put paper towel at the bottom because I don't like that it's clear. So I just put paper towel so it would be white. And then once it goes on, it'll lay flat. This drawer is going to be all of like my face and body products. So I have this caddy and when I want to do my face and pull this guy out. So we're gonna set this right here like that. I will go through everything and show you a couple favorite products as well. But I just wanted to show you guys how I'm putting everything in here first. This is like my self tanner bag. I have like my mitt and my back thing. It's kind of gross. We're gonna stick that in the back just so it's out of the way. I have this, you guys. I just put all of my little wrist things these are life changers. Okay, let me put this right here. So these go on to your wrist. Let me show you an example, okay? And so when you're washing your face, it doesn't drip down your elbows. They are amazing. And now I don't feel like I mind washing my face. That was literally the only thing that would bother me. I'm sticking these right here. So that way all of my face stuff is right in the front. Okay, so then I have this guy, it's actually for your feet. It is a little tool here. I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see it and I don't scare people with a tool that I've used on my feet. But I'm gonna just tuck that in the back here. It's got its own little bag, which is nice and you can't really see what it is. And then I have these gold eye masks, which I love to have. I'm gonna stick these right here on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that right in here. So here is the top drawer. I just love the way it turned out. It is literally just all of my skin stuff and everything fits in here perfectly. This is my cellar water I got from Amazon. It's highly fragranced, but I do like it. These are glycolic peel pads. I don't use them all the time. Sometimes I just need an extra deep clean. 
Okay, down here I have La Mer. I love La Mer, you guys. I hate that I love it. I don't use it all the time. There's just like, if I feel like my skin is extra dry or it's burnt, sunburnt, or anything like that, I pull out the La Mer and it really does help. I use this as my moisturizer on a regular basis. This is my favorite. It is not very strong vitamin C, but my skin really reacts well to this. This is like a really clean brand. This is the same brand. It's also a cleanser, which I really like. I like to use medical grade skincare and natural skincare. That's what I prefer to use. This Skin Medica, you guys, OMG. I've been using this for a long time and it is the best, okay? TNS Eye Repair. If you've never tried it, I highly suggest it. it this stuff is great. This is by Eminence. This is strawberry rhubarb. It's a lactic acid, but it is a physical exfoliant, which I really, really like. Okay, so this is Renew. This is Advanced Retinol Serum. And this one is supposed to be better for your skin, not as damaging to your liver. I guess retinol is very damaging to your liver is what they say. So you have to be really careful. I know some people use it every day. This is Stem Factor. This is Growth Factor Serum. I use this in the morning and I use that one at night. I just have a couple little of these things. This is Polish Choice 8% AHA gel. This is something I decanted and I put in this container because I thought it was prettier. This is my SPF. I actually have the actual container right here. Like I said, I like natural products. I really do like this Mad Hippie brand. And then I decanted this as well. This is my facial mist. What is it called? Toner. I will link it down below for you guys. I forgot what it's called, sorry. But here, you guys, I love this brush. Okay, so it's silicone, so it's not gonna harbor bacteria. I like this setting. It has the vibrating and the rotating setting, which I really, really like. And then it has this little base here, the little dock, so you can charge it. Okay, then I don't know where the top is, but this makes your face wash foamy. So it's called Marshmallow Whip Maker, and there's a little part that goes in there and you fluff it up. This is my nose trimmer, if you know, you know. So here is the drawer all organized. It's kind of chaotic. I would like to decant a couple of things to make it look prettier, but for now, fully functional. I put things into categories, which is gonna make it a lot easier to use and to find. Now my kid stuff isn't all mixed in here, so. Alrighty. And, okay, I have the flash on. I'm hoping this will help. So I have this two tier tray and now I have all of my hair stuff here, which I absolutely love. They slide out so I can reach everything. So I am just obsessed. If you guys wanna know what my favorite hair products are, I will share that on another video. But down here, this is stuff to blow dry. So now I have, I can pull this whole thing out and if I need to blow dry my hair, I have all the stuff I need to do it in just this one bin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm getting a container that sticks on the side and I'm gonna put my hair brushes in it because I do have space. It goes up very high right here and I thought that would be really nice. Right now I just have my silicone mats. I have two different ones right here that I'm just setting on the side here because there's this little lip. It makes it a little bit easier for you to pull the drawers out when those are there. But I am happy with the way everything turned out. Oh, and then right here, let's see if you guys can see. I have this little container and I've just put all of my tools face down in here so I can grab everything. And I also have, well, that one came with one. I have these little black Velcro things like this that I've added to everything, but everything's just standing up. So now I can just grab them and stick them in here super nice and neatly without having to dig inside of my cabinet back there. So now this is all mine. Are you ready? It is haul time. So I have all my bags right here. I have a treasure box that I have for my kids and when they finish their full day of schoolwork and chores and all their stuff, they get to pick it from and it's usually like a Dollar Tree item. This is the first little thing. She wanted this cute little bathtub. I have a bunch of these. These are Ninja Turtle. My son's having a Ninja Turtle party so I thought these would be great favors. They had Bakugan so I don't know. Like this is the real brand so they have little Bakugan toys. Then, oh, these are cute little troll pencils. Remember the pencils that you pull them from the bottom and stick it back on the top? Got some of those. These are for our party. Um, she got this cute little, it lights up and it looks like a microphone. So that's for the toy box. Okay, then 
somebody got a marker. I don't know who got that. More Sour Patch. I think I got one for each kid. And then my daughter wanted this astrology book, so I'm put, gonna put that in the box as well. She's actually really excited. Then I found these, you guys, on Amazon for $7 or $8, and they were only a dollar, and they had really good reviews. So if you see these, I would highly suggest picking them up. There's 36 colored pencils. I should have probably bought two packs. Then we have some green, these are for his Ninja Turtle Party napkins, more Bakugan. My daughter picked out these little paddles. These are gonna be her favors today. They're all gonna give out little favors. And then I got these hearts for the table. I'm gonna decorate their little foam hearts, decorate the table with those. Then I got these cute little bags so each kid can put their Valentine's Day favors in a bag. Then I got some of these little hearts. I think I wanna do like a cheese board, like a little snack board. So I'm gonna put little hearts and things on them. Then this is for the treasure box. They have a little skateboard with ramp. I thought those would be good for the treasure box as well. We have some green plates. You guys, these are the best. I bought like five of them. You guys know I can't live without my floss. Love this brand. It comes with 60 for a dollar, so those are great. I bought some Crest Whitening Toothpaste. That's my favorite. Another one of those Ninja Turtle things. Oh, look at this, you guys. So this is a pill organizer and you press the button and it goes to the next little section here. So I am definitely gonna put some pills in these and put it in my purse. I thought that was super cute. And I got some little hooks, two different sizes, really tiny ones and then bigger ones. Then we have some heart Reese's. Ooh, these are my favorite, you guys. So I got more fortune, oh, these are fortune cookie. They have little fortunes in them, but I'm gonna let one of my kids use them for favors. Then I got these. I always get these little things so I can fill them up with, um, you know, Valentine's stuff, but I always get these for parties. And I'll probably reuse them again for my son's birthday, which is on the 15th. My daughter got this for the treasure box. It's a little gnome. I don't understand, but there it is. I got some of these popcorn containers because we've been really enjoying popcorn, and I used to have these back in the day, but we got them again. I bought my kids some of these potato sticks. They opened one bag yesterday and they loved them. Do you guys remember these from back in the day? They used to be in like a Pringle can looking thing. And I was like, you know what? My kids need to try these. I also got them a nostalgic snack, which is Bugles. I used to have these when I was a kid. So I got them these to try. That's one of the things I love doing at Dollar Tree is finding like all the old school snacks and the new snacks that we've never tried before and trying them from the Dollar Tree. I got some York peppermint patties. Those are for me. So these are Wishkins. They're like a surprise bag thing and it's like some type of little animal. It's a surprise inside. Discover what they wished for inside. Then we got the Oreo cake stirs. I was like, hmm, have to try those. Another floss. Okay, then I got these little things for the kids to make. They're like a pom-pom kit. I thought that'd be fun for them to do a little activity. Another Bakugan for the treasure box. I got some plates for the Valentine's party. This, a lot of this stuff is for the, the treasure box. These are little bracelets that have words on them. My daughter got a little lip gloss she can pick out. Um, my kids got little gnomes for Valentine's and I have other friends that are gonna be here so I got them these. Little stuffed animals for theirs. Lego sets, they're knockoff Lego sets. More Bakugan. I don't know who got Stimpy, but somebody got Stimpy. Two things of tape for me. I, need I got some Valentine's Day cups. I have straws around here somewhere. I need to find them. But I do have little heart straws that I got. I got green cups for my son's birthday party. I also got him some different, and I got wrapping paper, which I don't know where that's at. A little robot, another little toy, more floss, and more toothpaste. I just stock up when I'm there because I don't go very often. Also, another good thing, if you guys see Crayola, obviously it's a great brand, the best working crayons. They have 24 packs. Sometimes they only have 16 or eight, but if you see 24 packs, this is a great deal for $1.25. I don't know if you know that, but hopefully I didn't break your heart, but it is now $1.25, which is super annoying. I feel like you could have went up like 10 cents, five cents or something, but a whole quarter? Mm. All right, so these are great crayons, more chapstick for their treasure box. Somebody got Patrick. <laughs> got these cute little hearts for everybody. They're kind of like Easter eggs, but they're hearts. Then there's this like stretchy guy. Got that for the treasure box. I'm gonna let my son do the Warhead lollipops for his favorite. Got some table scatter, which are little hearts. 
Check this out, you guys. It's a dentist kit. Got that for the treasure box. My daughter was like, oh my gosh, she was so excited. Squishy ball for the treasure box. Somebody got SpongeBob. More crayons. Now we're getting into the stuff that I already had, but these are doilies. I thought I could put these on the table. Use them as like little chargers for under the plate. I thought that'd be cute. Two more Sour Patch hearts for the kids. I have more of these little fortune cookies. And then I also got these art things. I wish I would've got one more, but I got little art things for the kids. They can do those today as well. Little heart rings. I got these little popcorn looking containers. I thought these would be really cute. Maybe we'll fill these up with popcorn. That would be fun. I got each one of my kids, one of these little gnomes. Ah, more Sour Patch. That'll be good so I can put them in one bin. Got these little heart things here. Maybe I'll put their little toys in them. More little small doilies. I got four of these. Where is my other bag? I have no idea. Then I got these for like the sweets. When I put them on the trays, I got like tiered trays. I'm gonna put them on these. I thought that would be cute. And then I got each one of my kids one of these. I found these cute little heart picks, which I'm gonna stick these in some of the snacks. Oh, look, I must've got one for me, Nick, and the kids. <laughs> and then we got some necklaces. Looks like I have eight, which is perfect. And then we got some little heart bouncy balls. Okay, so that was the haul. So now I'm kind of just gonna set everything in this basket because I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then I'm gonna set up the table for everything but I want all of this in one place. And should I try one of these? I think I should, you have to make sure they're not poison. Oh, they're so cute and little. See, this is perfect. <laughs> there is nothing like a Reese's. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have my Valentine's bin here and then now I'm gonna put the stuff in my treasure box away. If you guys haven't seen my video on my desk, my treasure box stuff goes down here. I'm gonna pull that out. It goes in this bin here. So, ah, they already put stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I got this yesterday, you guys. This is for cars. It's a little truck and I got this. He was so excited. This is why he wanted to do school. This is a motivator, you guys. If you homeschool, start a treasure box. I'm telling you, my son's like, can we do school today? I'm like, son, we don't have school today. He's like, but I really want to do school. So this guy, this is a little car like wash thing. You can build a set. This was like a connects thing or a rector set. That's what it's called. And then a little gun, Nerf gun and a couple other little things, but he already started sticking stuff in here. I am starting. I just got back from the store and I am making little salami roses for the little meat and cheese snack bo board. It's nothing crazy fancy. We're just doing crackers and cheese and salami, but I know this little trick, so I thought it would be fun for the kids to have a couple little salami roses. I also got some of these heart-shaped nuggets, so we're gonna do some of those. Just really simple. I got popcorn, and then they got a bunch of desserts and stuff like that. And then you lift it out, and then ta-da, it's a rose. Brand new street and brand new me Side by side by friends I need Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know, couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone 
Let's be honest. Like We're popping bottles over here, guys. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. All right, we got nuggets over here. Anybody need ketchup? You guys look so cute. Oh, man. Nothing much, man. <laughs> pink ears. Oh, Heck yeah, baby. Jay, that's why ears were supposed to be pink. All right. You making your teddy bear? Oh. Oh, okay. Are you having a good Valentine's party? Yep. Good job. So cute. Sophie, are we having a love party? All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you don't know, I do a blog post with all of the links. The link will be down below in the description box. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video and you let it play through, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. It really benefits my channel. Leave me a heart emoji and let me know that you did. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I know you could be anywhere on the internet, but you chose to be here with me. Until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.